My first tip for 23.2 is related to the burpee pull-up. Because of the ascending rest scheme and it's a relatively long workout, 15 minutes, you're gonna be doing a lot of burpee pull-ups, especially if you're someone who's pretty good capacity and you have relatively good strict upper body pulling strength, you're gonna accumulate probably 60 plus uh, burpee pull-ups in a workout like this. So that being said, you need to make these as efficient as you possibly can so they cost the least amount per rep that you do. I would think about two things. First is stepping up the burpees. So split those feet apart, step them up, bring the feet together, and then kind of turn your gaze towards the bar. When you actually jump up to the bar to do your uh, pull up, you can do a version where you jump and have your momentum carry you directly upward and you do more of a strict pull up, more of a, a top half strict pull up for the actual rep. Or you could do it where you go into a dead hang first and then you actually kip and go into the pull up. I would say if possible, if you're someone who can do the jumping plus the kind of the strict half rep version, especially with the standard of only having to be above your reach, that's probably a really efficient way to do it because you're probably not gonna be able to get a great kip if you're just meeting that standard. So that would be the first thing I would think about is efficiency in the burpee pull up. Next is efficiency of the shuttle run. We actually just released a video on this, so be sure to check it out. We also have one on the burpee pull-up, so I'll link to both of those. However, for the shuttle run, you wanna think about minimizing the time that it takes you on the ends. So the turns are where you're gonna lose the majority of your times. So you wanna think about turning both your feet where they're sort of 180 degrees as you come in, actually point in the direction that you wanna go, staying on the forefoot pressure of the foot, and really getting out of the turn, right? Getting up to speed quickly, and then sort of cruising through the middle portion. Just making sure that you're not losing time in the turns, even as you start to fatigue, right? Everyone's gonna not be doing fast shuttle runs. However, it's important that you can maintain the speed of them just by simply keeping a good proper movement when you're actually going through those reps. So it's key that you're thinking about the efficiency of the burpee pull-up and the shuttle run so that you can last that entire 15 minute time domain and just focus on that quality movement the first 10, 12, as long as you possibly can into the workout until you just have to grit it out to finish it out. Now, I would probably treat this as maybe a, a 95 to 98% effort, probably not a true 100% because you wanna have enough in the tank where you can lift well in the thruster. And again, you're not gonna have any time. It's a very short window, so you're gonna be very fatigued when you're lifting. You're only gonna get maybe three lifts in in a window like that. So it's very important that you understand what the jumps are that you're gonna make, where you can start, where it's sort of like an all day number where you know that on any given day you can hit that and you shouldn't miss it even if your legs are super tired and your breathing is really elevated, um, that you can still go up and hit that with quality no matter what. And then thinking about that, having maybe a plan A and a plan B if I feel good, maybe these are the two weights I think I could hit. If I feel like trash, I'll go a little bit more conservative, but still making sure I'm getting good enough scores where I won't have to redo. So those would be my big picture thoughts on 23.2. Thanks for watching today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to share with somebody in the community who would also benefit from it. And if you want to stay up to date with more content about how to be at your best in sport of CrossFit, be sure to subscribe to our channel and best of luck on the workout.